Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Farm Manager 2018, and just before we start, I do have a bit of a cold, and it has affected my throat, uh, which is just absolutely wonderful and tickety-boo. Um, it does mean that I will most likely have to cut this episode a little bit shorter than I do normally. Um, I apologise for that, but I'm sort of hoping that if I don't overdo it with episodes at the end of this week, it'll sort of rescue my voice and we'll be able to carry on as normal next time. So we've got 5 of 5 in here, and we've got 5 of 5 in here, and all employees are 5 of 5 on both manufacturing and strength, which is absolutely beautiful. It is what we want. And in here, I've got one person so far. We need to get some more people in here that are going to be able to do that. So I'm just going to very quickly scan through the list as the very first task that we do. We're also looking for beekeepers that have strength as well because we're upping... Uh, we don't have anything there. Noth nothing available at the moment. Um, take a loan. I can't do that. I've, I've already got all loans. Um, this one here is build this small thing. I can't do that either. I've already done all that. Um, collect two corn by before February. Uh, we're not doing that either. All right, so let's let's forget all of those. Hire here. I'm going to hire 24 people. I'm also going to look down through the... Yeah, let's just go through the whole list. See if we've got any employees that we want to take us. All these people in manufacturing, I don't want them. Man uh, beekeeping and animals, I don't want them either. All right, now we're going to here. So we'll start taking any fours and fives to go into this house. We want to get 24 people in there. And then they can come over and start working in these greenhouses. At least that's the plan. That's what I'm hoping they will do. Uh, there's another one, and another one, and one more, and another one. Okay, that's looking good. I don't think they're coming into this house here, though. I think they are all moving into the houses over here. Um, am I going to have to relocate each and every single one of them one at a time? I think I am. And if, if I want them here at this house here, I'm going to... Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's that's not very good. That's not what I wanted to do. I want them to come over here. We'll see. Let me let me get some staff a minute. Uh, I got a whole load of temporary staff to come over here. Now we've got tomatoes already growing in that one. This one, the soil fertility is all done, and that one, and that one, and that one there as well. So these we need to plant with tomatoes. I've got 200 units of tomato seedlings. That's all ready to go, and we go into that one, and we will plant there as well. Choose tomato seedlings, accept, and then we go into this one, and we'll do the same again. Strawberries, oh, I don't actually have enough tomatoes anymore, so I want to buy another 24 units there. Um, if I go over to here and I try to do the same again, no, this is just going to do that. Right, so I need another 200 units of tomatoes to be able to just finish this bit off. So let's just go down through the list, and we will get our tomatoes, there we go. Um... One, two. Two lots. Two lots of them. And then we'll have tomatoes lined up through there. I've got some more staff over here. I need to just train them. So we'll just train that one up for full strength. Darcy Potter there. And then we've also got Leon Potter, uh, husband and wife. Husband and wife there. Darcy and Leon are going to be working together over in the juice factory over here. So we will choose Darcy Potter and we will choose Leon Potter there. I need two more people to go to work there. Up this way, I've got a... Not in that house. I thought I put them in that house. Oh, I put, put, yeah, put them in this house. Okay, I've got Nancy Edwards, who is another beekeeper. And she needs some training in beekeeping. And she needs training in endurance as well. And this one's already got somebody in it. This one here, I need to choose. And that is going to be Nancy Edwards in there. Now, I think it's this house here. There is a beekeeper. There we go. Kai Bennett. Release. You're not staying here any longer. You're not going to be working here anymore. Um, I think I've only got one beehive, uh, one bee house that I need now to fill. Yeah, that one's got a caregiver. Although, looking at these, see, that's just a five of five. We'll swap these over. We will eventually swap these over so that we've got strength as well. Um, I just need one more beekeeper that also has strength. And we've also got to put out the bees. Uh, before I do that, though, uh, oh, that one's ready to go. That one needs some manuring, so we'll do that a second. There we go. Uh, next one over. Oh, what are they doing? Oh, they're, they're still cultivating. That's Freddie Day and Carl Pileas. They should be doing some work in here. That's, they're, they're still cultivating. 
But let them carry on doing what they're doing. Um, and then we've got um, more of this going on over here. And then that greenhouse there. This one needs to be cultivated. Let's get that one going. And then finally this one over here. This one needs some fertilizer in it. So we do that. Right, the top... These... Um, 12 greenhouses here, these are all going to be strawberries. So I'm just going to go through and make sure that they're all ready for the strawberries. Um, auto fill that. And then the bottom 12, they're going to be all um, raspberries. So then we'll have strawberries, raspberries, and a few tomatoes here as well. Cherries we'll get to later on. Because cherries, we can do juice for cherries and we can do... Oh, I've run out of people. So Nathan, Ali, and Alex Brown, they're the last ones, so that they'll go there. We're not going to do any more for a minute. How are we doing over there? They are planting in progress. That one's done. Yeah, we'll just leave that because we're still on sort of slow speed at the moment, so it's, it's taking them a while to come through. My biggest issue is that they're all up here, and I want them down here, and I don't think there is a way to move them quickly from one house to another. So i got these people down here. Um, can I? No, I, I don't think there is actually a way that you can, like, move them en masse. I'd like, I'd like everybody to be living in this house rather than those up there. The only thing I could think of is, like, remove those houses completely and have all the temporary staff down here because there are far less jobs up this way that we'd want to do anything with anyway. So I could remove those three houses and we'll be able to use that for more machinery around there if we want to. And then just build some more of the temporary houses just in here. I just need them in this section here. I got four up there. I got room for building four houses down here. I think that I think we might actually do that. I think that is a thing that we will do. We're not going to do it just yet. Let me just first of all, we, there's a couple more people that I need. I still need two more people. Um, and we also want more bee. There we go. We've got a beekeeper there, Isabella Frost. She is going to go and live in house 10. There. She's going to go and live up there. And have we got anyone else we can take on right now? Uh, doesn't look like it. Okay, so we, we don't have anybody else suitable. But we do have Isabella Frost, who is a beekeeper, who's now got strength as well. There we go. Train her right up. It does cost a little bit, but I do think it's actually worth it now. So then we will go there. Isabella Frost, you are perfect for this job. Now, we'll get the beehives bought. I'm going to go here, and if I run around like this, and I will buy beehives. So what I need to do is, I need to press, If I, I can actually bring these beehives right the way over to this side, like that. One, well it doesn't matter, I don't, I don't even need to worry about counting these beehives. I can just do it like this. Let me zoom in a little bit, just maybe, maybe just a, a tad too far. Um... And I can put those there. And then I can go along like that. And there's nine. I could even I could even put one over there like that. I'm not going to. I'm going to stick... I can't put one there because that's on the road. Alright, we'll put one in between the two houses there. Just like that. And then we'll come over to here. And we'll buy the ten beehives for this one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven... Eight. I'm thinking I might actually be able to fit yet more beehives in here. So I've got one there and one there like that. And then I come over to this one here and I can put one up in front. And then I can do eight along here like this. Just like that. And then I can put the last one up there. And then this one here we can put one up in front. And can I put eight all the way along here? I think I can. Yes, I can. I can fit them all. I can actually, actually put another one along there. I'm not going to because that seems a little bit too tight to that building over there. But I can put one there. Okay, that's not taking up a vast amount of space, which means that I can fit more beehives along the back. Now, the road that we've got along the back is not great at the moment, but we'll do something because I've got this orchard right here. So if I go to the road and I go from that point there... I can't... Oh, yes, I can. I can put it right along the end of here. I can't put it to there. I can put it right to there. And then I can put another road straight out along there like that. So that connects it all up. So that we, we do have like a circuit there that people can work around if they need to. And we're going to go back into here. We're going to go to animals. And I'm going to go to beekeepers. 
And then I'm going to see if I can keep the bees. We're going to... How far up can I put these out? I cannot put it up that far. It's got to be out there. Now, I am a little bit concerned. I don't have space for 10 beehives behind on that one. So I'm going to need to space these out a little bit more in order to be able to get all the beehives in. Um, I'll put another one. I'm going to put one up this end. Like that. There. And I'll see what I need in the middle. Uh, we'll, so we'll let those two build first, and then we'll see what we need in the middle. Let's just first... How many have I got in there? I've got three people living in that house, and... That one's got seven people, so I can put another one in there. This one over here's got eight. Um, mostly animal people. Freddy Day as well. I think we're going to let him go. Well, sort of kept him for doing stuff here, but we're going to have, like, permanent um, seasonal staff around here as well now. So I, I think we're going to be all right with this. So what we're gonna, we'll have a look here, see if we can find another beekeeper. And I want beekeepers with strength. There we go. There's one. Gracie Bell. She's she's already she's already lined herself up for a job. That is fantastic. So we got that one there. Gracie Bell. And have we got any more? Is there any more? Please, please us. Let's let's have another one. Let's let's make this easy. Okay, so that's not happening. Let's go and assign Gracie Bell to somewhere. We need to train her first. Like that. And I'm gonna let this person here. We got that one there. We got Sophie Burton. Sophie Burton is actually. I just need to swap that one over a minute. Gracie Bell there. Is Sophie living in this house? Millie Rees, Lucy Freeman. Okay, Sophie doesn't live here. Where does Sophie live? Sophie Burton, right there. You're going. I'm, I'm letting you go, because I'm replacing you with better people. And <laughs> that does sound a little bit harsh, really, doesn't it? Replacing you with someone better. Get out of here. Um, it means I'm going to have to hire another person. Is there anybody else that we've got ready for the beekeeping? I don't think we've got anyone else. We're going to sort of step things up a little bit in a minute. I've got those building there. Um, let me come back over here. I've got... That one's ready to go. That one's... That one's planting in progress. There. Ah, I can right-click. That makes life a lot easier. Oh, I know what I was doing. I was waiting for some tomato seedlings to come in. There we go. Auto-fill that one. And then you over here. Tomato seedlings. Choose. Yes. Auto-fill. Excellent. And then you up here. You also need tomato seedlings. Auto-fill. Right. I think that is everybody here for tomato. Planting in progress for you. You're done. You're planting in progress. You are as well. And why have I not got anything going on with that one? I thought I did. Okay, I'm not really sure why that's not doing planting in progress. It should be. I auto fill, except. I don't know why that didn't go to it. We'll have to see. Uh, I think I know what I did. I know what I did. Auto fill that one. Except there. I didn't actually do. A, didn't send them going right. I cancelled it before I finished it. Okay, that looks like it's all finished. Looks like. So we want to come to here. Now that one I need to get some fertilizer going. So we need to do that one there. Okay. And you're cultivating. You're done with... Uh, that one's done. That one I can plant. Put strawberries in there. Strawberries. Yep. Did I just say 177 units of strawberries? I think it did. <laughs> it did. It said 177 units of strawberries. I don't have any more people available at the moment. Right. It's time to speed things up a bit. We, we've, we've been messing around far too long. So we'll let these greenhouses go through. I've got, I've got lots of people working in there now. The juice factory. I still need more people to come. I need more beekeepers and juice factory peoples. Um, the beekeepers is fine, but I want the secondary skill of... Yeah, I, I want a, a secondary skill for the strength. I, see, I don't know if that's really necessary for the beekeepers. It might not be, to be honest. It it might just be it might just be me being ridiculous. But um, I'm pretty sure the manufacturing one that is going to make a difference. I just got this sort of feeling that it's going to make a significant. Like here, I could take Abigail Walton. I'm, I'm going to. I'm going to hire Abigail Walton. She's um she's a five of five. I got uh, she's got room in there. 
and she is going to go and work in this house right here. So I needn't have um, fired my previous employee because um, I, I could have just done it from here. And it, everything everything would have been fine. They, they would, she, she'd have just been fine. I, I could have just kept the, the, the five of five beekeeping and not really worried about the strength. Because they live right next to the bee house anyway. Um, manufacturing and beekeeping. No, that's, that's no good. And we've got beekeeping. We've got beekeeping. We've got loads of tractor drivers. Tractor drivers coming out of my ears here. I don't actually need any at the moment. Let's go back down to the beekeepers over here, and we're going to need to buy some more beehives. Now, this is the question, was how many am I going to be able to fit in here? This, this is what I'm a little bit sort of wondering about. So I put one, two, three. Can I put any? Yes, I can fit some more up here. Four, five, and six. And then we're going to have to bring them down the side like that to fit them all in. Okay. And then I'll come over to this one. I need to choose a person. I do not have a beekeeper. I have no beekeepers available. So let us go to that one. We've got eight of eight people. They're all they're all happy in there. Uh, this one, we've got seven of eight. I can hire another person from in here. And if I don't see a beekeeper with strength, I will just go for a plain beekeeper instead. Uh, there is no beekeeper with strength anywhere on here. So we're going to go for... Uh, Oliver Burgess is 460, 426. We're going to go for Lily Parker. Lily is going to come and work for us. Uh, which is the house that I want to put them in? Number 7? No. 7, 6, 5, 2, 3... Oh, it's four. Yeah, that's the that's the house that I wanted them to live in. So then we can scroll down through and we go to Lily Parker and we train her up in beekeeping like that. And then this house over here, I need to choose Lily Parker. There we go. Now we're going to go to our hives and we're going to buy. I'll move this around a little bit. So I can zoom in and I can see what I'm doing. Now, I could put it right... I don't like the idea of stuffing it right up against that building. So I'm going to put it there. I cannot put more than a single beehive out here. I can put it there like that, but I can't put any behind. There's not quite enough room. And that means that these beehives are going to have to go down the side here. I'll put that one back a little bit. So then we can go like that. There. How many is that? That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, nine. I can't put any more over there. Ten. There. That's, that is as many as we can put in. I don't think we're going to fit two more beekeeping houses in here. I think we're only going to fit one. So that's what, we'll, that's what we'll do for a minute. I'm going to put that one there. Move that one up. Yeah, that's as far up as I can move it. And we do need to get another beekeeper. The, the other beekeeper is going to have to live in this house over here. Uh, beekeeping. Yeah, we've got plain beekeeping. We've got any with strength just as a bone. Oh, yeah, we do. Jake Frost. Jack Frost is going to come and live with us now. Right, Jack Frost. There. I don't care if you want to call yourself Jake. You're not Jake. You're Jack. Okay, Jack Frost. That's the, you are Jack Frost. There, there is no getting around that one. That is just your name. It's just who you are and who you will forever be known as while you come and work for us. Jack Frost. Right? It's, it's a beautiful name. It's, it's a name that you could be proud of. You, sh you shouldn't be ashamed of it. And have we got any more of uh, manufacturing with strength? They've got manufacturing with beekeepers. Still no manufacturing with strength. Why is there none here? Uh, those should all be planted now. Let's have a look in here. That's that's fine. Yeah. Um, they're planting. This one is planted. This one is... Oh, I need some manure in that one. Okay. Autofill. These people are working hard on all of these greenhouses. I need to get some strawberries. They're 327. So we... It says 177 units of strawberries, but I don't think it's actually using that many. I don't believe it is. It might, well, I suppose it might be. Um, I don't have enough, so I'm just going to have to order in some there. And that's not enough. That one there is, they are buying. That one is waiting on strawberries. This one is busy planting. This one over here, we need to get some fertility going on. So we go to that one and we get some manure going in there. Uh, same with that one. Go for that. 
Auto fill and accept. And we go to this one. We do the same. There we go. Accept. Uh, that one's ready to plant. And that one is also ready to plant. And so is that one. So we'll go to the market in a second and we'll order up a load more strawberries. I reckon if we order, say, 1,500 strawberry seedlings, we should be all right. So we go there, 1,500. That's 1,322. Order those in. And then as soon as they get here, we can start planting those. Now, down here, we've got a lot more work that needs doing still. We've got cultivating that needs doing on most of these. Actually, I think the only thing we've done on most of these uh, raspberry greenhouses at the moment is the um, the plowing. Everything else still needs to be done. So we'll get this next six underway. Okay, we're not taking those. Nope. Um, cherries. We're going to want cherries. I'm thinking that we'll make a cherry orchard over here. We could make a big cherry orchard over there as well. Whether we actually get tractors in order to do this job, I don't really know. But we want there. We've got a five. Jake, Jack Frost. There we go, Jack Frost, you, you're coming to work for us. Get used to being called Jack, mate, because um, it, it's going to happen. Yeah, I, I, I don't really care if you don't like it. Um, it's something you're going to have to put up with because, look, Jack, it's, it's Jack it's Jack Frost. You are you are the Jack Frost. There, there is no sort of contest about this whatsoever. You can't possibly try to tell me you're not Jack Frost. Um, them up there. Oh, that's ten. Right, if I've got ten there... Do I have enough room to fit 10 beehives in this bit here? Hoping I do, because that would fit quite beautifully. If I've got just enough room in here to fit 10 beehives, that would be... Uh, I do. I definitely have enough room to fit 10 beehives, because we put a few along the back and the rest up through there. There's 10 beehives. That would be all of them. I need one more employee for beekeeping. <gasps> Manufacturing and strength. Lottie Cook. Come here, Lottie. You're going to live in that house. Okay, I've got um, another manufacturing strength. Matilda. Matilda, you're going to go and live in that house as well. I think it was only two that I needed there. That is fantastic. That is absolutely brilliant. It's just two that I needed. Okay, so I need a plain beekeeper because I don't have beekeeping and strength. Imogen or Eliza, you're 474, 475. Imogen, you're slightly cheaper. Only only, only by a tiny, tiny amount. It's not going to make any... I don't think... We could play this game for a year and we probably wouldn't be able to make that difference back after we um, sort out all the training here. But um, still, I'm, I'm going for it anyway. It, it's just a thing that I'm going to do. So we're going to here and Imogen Man is our new employee in here. So then we need to go there and we need to start buying beehives. Now, this is the last of the beehives that we're going to be buying. I'm going to put a line all the way down here. We've got one small area left. Oh, I need another beehive. How did I get an extra one on... Oh, I put an extra one back there. That's the extra beehive. And then we've just got that little slot there. But all of these have got 10 beehives on them. Every single one of them has got 10 beehives. So this field over here, we're going to turn this into a field. I'm, gonna, I'm actually going to do that right now. I'm going to go there like that. Too far out. Field. That is a field. We will plow that one by hand, and we'll also plow this one. It, this is, it's all going to be done by hand. So we've got the colza and the other uh, colza and buckwheat honey that we'll put in there. I'll do two fields of colza there and buckwheat on there, and then we'll be able to get loads of stuff from it. Um, hopefully the crop quality. As we're getting near the end of winter, we're going to change the crop quality thing around a little bit so that we can keep working on that. Right, the strawberries should be ready to plant choose strawberry seedlings i got loads of them now auto fill accept uh you are busy working you here we can do that one um that will do the same auto fill accept and then you in here we also want to get you planting strawberry seedlings just like that another line of strawberry seedlings in here choose strawberries and then auto fill accept there so we've got strawberries there they got 29 days left those have got 34 days left. Um, I need more strawberries going in here, like that. Let's get all of these strawberries planted so that these big factories here that are just sat at the moment not doing anything can start to actually do something. We'll have the, the juice for the tomato. We'll be doing tomato juice. And then we'll also be doing the, the frozen strawberries. That one going. And then I've got another one here. Which is, we're actually getting close to the end of, oh, no, uh, no more. 
We won't do any more just yet. I've got three more that I need to do there, but I've run out of employees. So now I can go over to here and I can train up these last two that we've got. Endurance training for Lottie Cook. So she's going to spend a bit of time at the gym and then she'll be fine. Matilda needs a little bit of manufacturing training and some endurance and training as well. But once the two girls are finished doing that, they can come over here and we can start them working in here. So I want to choose Lottie Cook and Matilda Shah. They have both come through with glowing reports on all of their training. That is absolutely wonderful. Now, current production, we don't actually have anything at all in here. No apples, um, no cherries, and no tomatoes at all. So, so nothing at the moment. That is about to change. That is all going to change. The other thing that I need is my new field, and that is going to be over here, but I need to buy the land first. If I buy... Yeah, I'd like to put a cherry orchard down here, I think. Because I can do frozen cherries and I can do juiced cherries as well. And then apples, we'll do... We'll do, we'll do apples somewhere, I'm not really sure. But I wasn't originally planning to do it over this side, but I am I am now. <gasps> oh! Press tab, and these come up. Tells you everything that's going on. Somebody did say there was a like an overlay thing that you could do, and I wasn't sure how to do it. That is fantastic. I like this. I like this a lot. I really do. I am pleased. Frithgar is pleased. Frithgar is very pleased. Frithgar is very happy. Uh, what did I want to do? I want to go into here. Oh, no, not that section. I want to go to that section there. No, I don't. I still don't want that one. Um, oh, you idiot, Frith. You absolute moron. Uh, I don't want to do that. Larger collection of honey. That's going to take 60 days. I forgot to set training going. At the beginning of the episode, we've, we've wasted like half the winter without any training whatsoever. I apologize for that. I should have done it. You've probably been trying to tell me through the screen telepathically, Frith, don't be an idiot. Go and buy. Go, go, just do what you're supposed to do and so stop messing around. Um, you're, you're being a moron. Um, so I, I do apologize for being a moron. Now, we've got some land there. I can buy land all the way out this way. Look, we can we can really expand. Um, I'm going to expand down this way a bit. That's 200,000. That's 245,000. I've only got 1.2 million left. That's all. Now I've only got 900,000. Yeah, we're not going to buy any more. That's all we're doing for a minute. We'll, we'll come out and we'll buy more later. I've bought this down here in case I actually want to like expand just a little bit further. I'm not going to worry about it right now. Um, no, what I do want to worry about is, can I build, if, if I build a field like that, uh, I see, you can't, like, have a curved field going into the water, that doesn't work. Right, in which case, I've got the road that comes along here, so I'm thinking that I'm going to extend that road out first, I'll bring that one straight along, and we'll do that. Far back can I bring that road? Does the road really go through the water? That's just ridiculous. Right, I want to bring that road out like that. There. Um, apparently the road can go through the water, which I, I don't really understand. Why would you have the road in the water? Why on earth would you... I'm, I'm going to do it here. I'm going to go there like that. I understand. Let me do it there. Oh, uh, no, it won't. Now it's trying to stop me from doing it. Now now it's telling me that th th this isn't a, a valid option. Well, it should be. Right, well, we can't do that. We can't put it into the water. I suppose that that does kind of make sense that we can't put it into the water. We can't really complain about not being able to put stuff in the water. Um, how are we doing over here? These are, these are all planted. Th these are all done. Now, choose. Strawberry seedlings. Yeah, we need to hurry up and use those. Autofill, accept. And then you over here, I'm going to choose you. And that one on autofill, accept. Like that. Uh, I do need to sell the, the last of the tomato seedlings. And then I'm going to go to there. And this one, I need to. Why? Oh, no, 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 no. Don't. I don't want tomatoes. Choose. Strawberries. Buy 93 units. You are planting strawberries. Oh, that's good. Okay, that's that's a relief. You, you, we, we do have that bit right. So if we just go here a second and I go there and I've got 478 kilos of apples that are expiring today. So let's just sell those very quickly. Um, actually, 
Why don't I just juice them? Just juice the rest of the apples. Take above zero. Just do it like that. Is that going to work? I might be able to get the last of the apples. Just just to grab those apples very quickly. Go in, go in and get them. And then I'll change it around so that we're always taking above, say, 100. So we save a few apples for the pigs. Um... No, I was. I, I need to go to the market a minute, and I need to go to sell, and I need to go down here to those tomatoes. See, oh, <gasps> I nearly forgot about the rest of the cucumbers. Now tell me, I've gone and lost a load of them. I hope I haven't. It's entirely possible that I have. I am really that stupid. Uh, we got some strawberries there. See, strawberries are starting to come down now. 29th of the tenth, first of the eleventh, twenty twenty-two. Uh. First, oh, 11th. Yeah, we need we need to get rid of those. And then we, we can keep hold of the rest. The, the flower, that'll keep for ages. So let's come down to it. Where's, uh, there we go. There's the last of the tomato seedlings. And I will sell those. Right, so those are now gone. The last of the strawberries in here, I should now be able to... Here we go. Strawberry seedlings and autofill accept. There we go. That is the last of the strawberries being planted. And then I can come down here and start working through... This greenhouse down here, or the, these greenhouses, so we can start getting raspberries done. Um, we're going to be doing quite a bit of manure spreading in here as well. There we go. Uh, and you are as well. I don't know how much. I think most of them, we, we got a lot of the um, other cultivating done. I want to get the field for the cherries sorted out before the spring. We will do that. Um, my only... I've, I realise that it's an orchard, so we're probably not going to... Oh, hang on. No, that needs to be cultivated. We're probably not going to be able to get very much done with those cherries this year because it's an orchard, so it does take a little bit of time to grow. Um, but we, we at least we can, like, order it started. i got one more here. I'm going to put those two in there as well. They may as well do something. We're going to be letting those two people go some point soon. They, they seem to be fairly useless, generally. They don't seem to do a great deal. So we'll, we'll let them go. Um... Go to that point, and then... Why is it doing that? Right, well, if I bring it to there, I obviously I can't go up there. So I'm going to have to go that way, and then bring that one up like that. So that goes all the way around there, which means that we can put the cherry orchard right here. And I'm actually going to build the cherry orchard as big as an orchard as we possibly can. It's going to be the biggest field that we can build, and then we'll quite possibly get some machines in to help us with this. Right, when I've quite finished sneezing, um, let me zoom in a little bit so that I can see what I'm doing here. I want to go there. That's the point that we want to start it. And then we can bring it out, and it's got to be as big a field as we can go. That is the biggest field that we can make. Right there. So this one, we can't actually... Uh, oh, no, I want to come off of that. There we go. I can't do this yet because it's winter. But as soon as the spring comes along, we will plough, cultivate, and everything else. We've got... One, two, we do have three plows, so we will be able to do everything that we need to do. At least that's what I'm hoping. We've got another field over there. I'm going cucumbers again. I'm also going to do a field of um, pumpkins this year, I think. We'll, we'll do an extra field. We've got that one that's going to be multiple picks. I think that we could put a field of pumpkins in here. I quite like the idea of like stuffing a field in over this side. Um... Well, we'll do pumpkins up there, and we'll do cucumbers down here. I want to put a road all the way round this field, though. Wherever I wherever I decide to put a field, if we're going to have a road all the way round. Now, the problem that I've got with that is that this road here comes over just a little bit too... It doesn't quite work. It is, yeah, it's not going to quite go over far enough. Even if I'm gonna, I can put a road down that side, definitely going to do that. If I put a road there, it's just going to move up that side a little bit. Try that, right? And then if I go in over here, and I'll put that field over as far as I can. It's right from that point there. And, oh, it does actually, it goes as big as the field will go. And it, it literally just, it only just fits in beside the juice factory. But it does fit. So we can put that one in there. And I'll put another road on here, and I'll put that one across there. I'm going to put it down a little bit. I know that there is like a bit of space along the bottom, which isn't brilliant, but I do have the... I've, I've 
got a loop around here, so the tractor can at least travel in a loop there. Um, I think a road along there would be beneficial to us, as well as a little bit of road up there. It just allows for slightly faster traveling. Means that that is a bit of wasted space there. That's a little bit unfortunate. There's not a lot that we can do about that. I think it's going to be all right. I think it will work out all right. So we're looking where we got nothing in here. It looks like those apples would have already expired. Now that was the end of it, as far as the apples were concerned. Right, we're ready to start planting raspberries in here. Spring has started, everything comes back to life, time to resume work in the field. Okay, uh, let me get rid of those and I'm going to slow down to, actually I'm going to pause it completely a minute and I'm going to stop it right here. We're going to stop today's episode right now. And we're going to come back to this next time. We've got to get, we've got to start working through those. I've got that fee, that that one right there. I've still got 11 days left. So there's a little bit left to go on some of these greenhouses. But there, we've got all the strawberries planted. We've got the tomatoes planted. The raspberries are about to start planting. And then we've also got these fields up here that we need to plant. I'm going to need a load more seasonal employees. Um, before we do that, I might actually knock those four houses down and rebuild them down here so that I have all our seasonal employees down here. They're going to be closer to these fields that way. Um, we don't need to worry about them not being tremendously close to those fields. I think that'll be all right. I'm going to build an orchard over here for cherries. And then we do have this apple orchard here, which is going to help supply the pigs a little bit. Um... Kind of our next big thing that we want to do is start expanding the animals up here. I'm not quite sure how we're going to do that yet. We've still got more expansion to do down here. Uh, but we, we've got a lot to come. That's all, that's all next time. If you've enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.